Drive and Ivan here, oh, and this is the Amelia Island. The Amelia, they call it now. This is the Cars and Coffee. This is a very cool Cadillac, and uh, there's a lot of cool cars here. And I'm gonna walk around. I'm gonna show you every single one of them. So smash that like button and subscribe, and let's get going. Here we go. Every single car here at Cars and Coffee, and we're starting with this crazy cool Cadillac. Yes, we are. It is, uh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Fuller Moto is what it says. <laughs> All the seats are covered in your grandmom's plastic that she used to keep on her uh, furniture back in the 60s and 70s, and maybe even in the 80s. Yeah, really, that's what grandmoms did. Look at this. Wow, what a cool car to start out with. What do you think? Man, is that cool. Eight Flags road tour there's cars all around i'll be walking around the whole event today showing you every single car so if you can't make it don't worry driving ivan's got you wow resto modded corvette insanely cool interior blue steering wheel and uh i guess this is fuller moto 2 uh very very cool back up here and show you the whole thing from the back wow it's so super cool. A lot of spectators out here today enjoying things. This is this is how we're gonna go. <laughs> wow, sounds great, doesn't it? Woo. Settling down at idle. Motorcycles too. They got everything. There's the Savoy with a Crosley CC. I had one of those, so you can watch my full driving review. Crosley CC. Mine was a Woody. There's even some cool art going on, too. Wow. Trying to show you every single car and every single motorcycle, too. This is the Jet Hot. Yeah. Jet Hot. Motorcycles galore. <laughs> BMW. It's a nice looking bike. Wow. L on wheels. That's what it says. Okay, so I've crossed the pond here from where I was, and uh, now I'm going to show you all the stuff over here. And look at this one of my favorite cars to start things off. Yes, I have a Lotus Europa, and this is a Lotus Europa. You know the Ford GT? Ford GT40? Well, Lotus built this to uh, be one of the bidders to actually build the uh, Ford GT for, Lo uh, for uh, Ford. But it was not selected, so they went ahead and built it anyway. And I have one, and uh, this one is about as good as it gets. This thing is resto modded, I would call it. <laughs> And uh, let's see what's in there. Wow. Powered by Lotus. I don't know. It doesn't look like a twin Lotus twin cam to me, but uh, it says Europa 47D, three and a half liter. Wow. What a beast. What is it? What exactly is it? It's a hopped up version of the plain Lotus Europa. That's a twin cam? That's the Renault? No, no, no. That's the Renault? That's the Renault. <laughs> This what? is a rover engine. So it's a rover, okay. I think it's the gentleman right here is a car. Oh, okay. I've got the stock version. Nice car. <laughs> so cool. I've got a stock Europa too. Yeah, me too, me too. 1970, mine is. Search uh, Drive and Ivan. Have you seen my video on it yet? It's a good video. Drive and Ivan Lotus Europa. I'm live walking around, sir. Nice to meet you. I'm going to show you every car here. Including this one. It'll be on YouTube later. Driving Ivan Katz. Nice to meet you. Bentley. Audi. It's cool at the Cars and Coffee. There's just uh, sort of a hodgepodge uh, random cars back to back. You know, you got the Aston Martin here. Uh, DB7. Z car looking great. Wow. Looking really good. Yeah, it's a DB7. 
I have driving reviews of the DB9, uh, the Vantage S, and now I just shot a review of the Aston Martin Lagonda. It's recent uh, on my channel, so check it out. These original Z cars were absolutely stunning, as are the, uh, oh, the Corbo seats in this. Uh, uh, I don't want to speak before I know exactly what it is. Yeah, Datsun 510. This is before Nissan. Changeover from uh, Nissan, Datsun to Nissan was 1984. The cars in 1984 were badged both Datsun and Nissan. But this is earlier than that, the Datsun 510. Uh, one of the reasons Japanese cars are so popular, because uh, look how cool this is, you know? That twin cam is, uh, you know, similar to the British stuff, like that Lotus Europa. We saw the original, uh, uh, the twin cam Lotus, which came in a little later, not the earlier ones. 66, I think, was the first year of the Europa. But look at this. A big Healy. A big Jag. Jaguar C type. So cool. Looks great all opened up. I've told the story before, but Ferrari was not quick to uh, incorporate new technology into their cars unless it was proven. And the Jags, like this one, were beating them on the track. They were out braking them. So that's when Ferrari said, all right, we need disc brakes in our car. And he switched to disc brakes. So he was not very innovative in that respect, but he was a smart guy. He was a frugal guy and uh, very competitive. So he let all the other companies do the uh, research and development for him, and then he jumped on the technology. That's why they finally went with mid-engine for the uh, Lotus, uh, the Ferrari LM. What am I? <laughs> Here we go, Aston Martin. Wow, this is very cool. This looks like a McLaren... Uh, Mustang McLaren's a GTO. Um, wow. Look at the flares on this puppy. Mustang by Enduro. It was a Mustang McLaren. This is reminding me of it a bit. But um, this thing is really hot looking. Let me know what you think of these cars. Smash that like button. Leave me a comment too. This one is pretty darn cool. <laughs> I don't know that uh, Cadillac I started with is pretty cool, but I might I might be selecting this as the coolest American car that I've seen so far. Uh, really, really neat. MR2. Now this is the one that uh, they were trying to look like maybe a Ferrari 348 back in the day, sort of. Audi here. Uh, excuse me. A lot of people here. These are awesome. The M2, when you talk about fender flares and that sort of thing, totally amazing. And what do we have here? Striker, striker, striker. That's from the movie Airplane. It's a striker, not a spiker. Uh, Tuatara. Hmm, what a beast. I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at, but I do know it's cool. And I do know that. Uh, it has advanced technology. <laughs> Very cool. <clears throat> right behind the Lotus Europa here. What do we think of that one? How cool is that? Hmm. That's pretty cool. And it says scan me there. I'll help you guys out if you want to learn more. So it's a twin turbo LS inspired engine is what I'm hearing with a heck of a lot of well over 1,000, 1,200 horsepower. Uh, a beast, in other words, an absolute beast. Okay, Ford Bronco, looking good. Um, wow, just gonna go up and down these rows and show you everything. Ooh, it's a TVR, look at that. I don't see TVRs every day, do you? Well, I guess if you're a car guy and you go to a lot of car shows, they're not uncommon, but they're not common. <laughs> TVR Vixen, I'm not sure which one this is. Let's see. Um, M. Oh, 
Uh, Griffin bought TVR bodies from what I'm hearing. That's the word on the street. It's continental looking good. Look two, two beasts of American cars here. Got the suicide doors. And uh, I guess I'll start here and walk on down. This is one of the big Healy's, the Austin Healy 3000. Very rare color on this Mercedes here. Um, you don't see this one every day. At the Broad Arrow auction, there's a 300 SL Roadster that's super linden green or something. Check that video out. That's that's a really rare color. But uh, yeah, big racing his 3000 racing Heelys 3000 Mark III Mini Cooper done up quite well for this show. Left hand, uh, right hand drive. Sorry. So domestic market for that one, which is. Uh, England and Europe. All right, 275 GTB competition version, I think we're looking at here. Um, 250s are featured. Uh, notice the Ferrari H gate. And uh, wow, what a beauty, huh? Doesn't get much better than that, does it? But uh, the Lancia 037 rally car next to it seems to be attracting more attention. I'm a huge Lancia fan. I have a Delta Integrale. Again, just search Drive and Ivan in any car and you will find it. I love my Lancia Delta Integrale, but I do wish I had one of these in the garage too. These are a bit more expensive. <laughs> this one looks to be resto modded. Some sort of, uh, there, there's actually also at Broad Arrow, there's a original 037, but this one looks to be, uh, Continuation, let's see what it says. Talilo, hard to read there. Scan me. Oh, look at that, wow. Look at the level of finish in there. Absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I think what they're doing here is uh, resto modding uh, Alancia 037 basically. Just amazing. Of course, uh, Jeremy Clarkson and Top Gear, they chose uh, Lancia as the best car manufacturer ever. I've always had Lancias. I used to have a Lancia Zagato. I have some very cool Lancia reviews. I rented a Lancia Ypsilon, and that one is posted. I did a road trip in that over to Europe. And then uh, I have a review of the Lancia Thesis, believe it or not, in America. And a bunch of Lancias in my uh, Cars We Don't Have in America series that I just posted. So, yeah, but the Lancia 037 Resto mod here rally car and again for more history look at my Lancia Delta into rally video god I love these things Whew. what a beauty all right moving on I also have a TT <laughs> mine is the first gen uh, Roadster and this is a coupe but um, funny when these were first released they did not have a wing back here you can see they kind of have a little bit here and they were unstable at high speed and they were having a lot of accidents so they had to add a wing to the original one but these were very innovative when these came out i mean it was the it car it was around the turn of the century and uh, everybody wanted one mine is uh custom it's bmw laguna seca blue with the baseball glove leather the six speed manual which is 225 horsepower versus the five speed manual which is 185 horsepower so uh there you go. But this one is a later car. They started offering six cylinders. This one's an automatic, but um, yeah, it doesn't really tell us the engine. Sometimes they do. What a great color of M2 right here. Uh, absolutely stunning, this M2. So uh, here we go. Continue on down the line here. McLaren, super popular these days. I don't want to get in any other, anybody else's way. The 720S. Not much, but yeah. <laughs> Kid is trying it out, seeing if it fits. I think he probably likes it and wants to take it home with him. Would you I like to take this home with you, sir? I would like to take it home. He would like to take it home. That is correct. <laughs> That's the correct answer. <laughs> so great that uh, people let, you know, kids sit in the cars and things like that. Um, it's great. GT500, I'm a big proponent of letting people touch and feel the cars. I, I go to, uh, I usually do the festival, uh, what's it called? The Festival of Speed in Alexandria, Virginia. Uh, brought a couple different cars, my Lotus Esprit, 
But I have brought my Lancia Delta Integrale, and people really get a kick out of that. This is the Lotus Evora. I have a full driving review of this one. Built to uh, compete with a Porsche 911. It does have a back seat. Optional to delete it. Let's see if they did. Um, nope, they have a back seat. So, uh, you know, Lotuses are uh, amazing driving cars. Uh, this is the Evora GT. But uh, again, for a full driving review, just start driving Ivan and Lotus Evora. I hope you've smashed that like button and subscribe by now too. Ooh, there's some 80s Radwood stuff behind it here that I can't wait to show you. Pod-tuned, fendered Ferrari Testarossa, although it's, uh, it's only a model. <laughs> it's got a Testarossa engine though. Um, it's a redhead, that's what that means. It's got the H-gate shifter. Um, but it is, uh, it is not original. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. But it is very cool. Let's see what it says there. Shit happens, Haggerty. All right. Um, speaking of my Esprit, well, here's an Esprit as well. Let's see what year this one is. It's a little later than mine, I'll tell you that. But this is the Stevens body. Um... And it was made in 1996. It is the V8. The Stevens body switched over from Jajario in 1988. And uh, it was a slight redesign, but uh, still retaining that wedge Jajaro shape. I just kind of adding to it. I hope I see a um, Jajaro design display today. Probably will at some point. All right, here's a TT similar to mine. In fact, this will have the baseball glove leather, I could tell, because this paint color was only available with the baseball glove leather. You see it? There's your baseball glove leather. This is the six-speed. It has 225 horsepower versus 185. Really a very fun car to drive. Watch my review, or I have separate videos of me driving it in the snow, but... I do drive it in the snow in the video also. So fun to drive. One of the most beautiful looking Alfa Romeo sedans, I would say. Look at the treatment of that rear uh, rear wheel there. What a gorgeous Alfa. Love Alfa Romeos. Yes, I have an Alfa in my collection too. Because as Jeremy Clarkson says, if you consider yourself to be a sports car enthusiast and you haven't owned an Alfa or don't own one, you're wrong. This is an Alfa Romeo Giulia Super, and uh, I just love it. Four doors, still very sporty, and uh, there you go. I used to have a, a 164L, and I currently have a 73 GTV that's had the roof cut off, so it's a GTC convertible. Very cool cars. Watch it all tonight on Drive and Ivan, ma'am. Oh, okay. I hope you will. Drive you got, and Ivan. You got a GTC? Yeah, GTV, but it was a, it's a clone. It, oh, a tree fell on it. The roof was cut off, so it's a GTC. Google Drive and Ivan Alpha GTV, and you'll see it. They only built a thousand of them. Right. I know. And then they went out of business. That was a Tory. He knows his Alphas, this gentleman. And here we go. Here's some more Alphas. And uh, yeah, really nice quadrifolio here. This is the top of the line Alpha Spider. The graduate was actually the entry level one. Dustin Hoffman, of course, was in the Duetto. 67, 68, whatever, uh, Alfa Romeo there. But uh, here's a Giulia. Oh, and my favorite Ferrari, one of my favorite Ferraris back there. I have a driving rear of that one too. 550 Marinello. And then the Giulia, two different reviews of these actually. I got to review it twice and the Stelvio. Now here's the uh, GTV, but this is a uh, racy version. It is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Here, read all about it. 2000 GTV S115. Uh, isn't that Alpha Twin Cam? Isn't it beautiful? Twin Spark Twin Cam. Well, this is not Twin Spark, but um, this is very similar to the engine in mine. All over. Uh, however, this is race prepped. You see how it says 2000 there? This has the full dash. Mine is unfortunately missing this. Um, but uh, what a beauty. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. These Alphas are gorgeous, aren't they? Just 
absolutely beautiful. Classy. Eternally cool, I would say. I mean, if you like sports cars, you have to like this. You don't have a choice. They just have the whole darn hood off just so you can see that beauty of that engine. Why not? An earlier Alpha Spider here. But again, you can tell by the wheels, it's it's not a graduate. I don't think it's uh, the, the nicer one. <laughs> Hidden Farina, styling house. And notice how uh, Alpha's stick comes out of the uh, kind of dashboard there. <laughs> you know, it's very unique, actually. It's very Alpha and very unique. And this is absolutely shagadelic. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Austin Powers. XKH Shaguar. It was moved used in the film. There you go. Yes. So cool. There's an information card with the history of this particular vehicle. Nice, nice. Well, they'll see it on Drive and Ivan tonight. You can pause and read all about it there. Showing you every single car because that's what I do. <laughs> and the Shaguar. Which, uh, there's a Jag, the Jagalac that I should, you should see that one. Google Drive and Ivan Jagalac. It's a car I saw in California. It's a, uh, it's one of these with fins. They converted it to look like a 50s, uh, it's the Jagalac. <laughs> Beautiful car, ma'am. <laughs> and this uh, yellow SL is looking pretty good too. <laughs> People are seeming to like the Shaguar. <laughs> People like the Shaguar. There's no question about it. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, and here's my buddy with the uh, here's my buddy with the uh, Alpha 116 here that I saw yesterday at the Concord of Lemons, Wayne Carini's event, uh, the kickoff event. But uh, yeah, I drove a bunch of these. I'll be putting together a review of this Alpha. I drove about four or five of them in Europe, so I'm just gonna combine all the footage and put them together. I did not buy one of these. I ended up with a Fiat Barchetta instead and a couple other cars if you want to see which ones, which one I drove on the Nürburgring. Just look on my channel, search Drive and Ivan Nürburgring or uh, what have you. But uh, yeah, you shall see them. All right. Have you smashed that like button and subscribed yet? I sure hope you have. Wow, look at this. I'll show you that in a second. This is a very fine looking uh, Alfa Romeo Spider with, uh, these wheels really make it. Wow, there's are beautiful wheels. I had a Fiat Spider with Maserati bi-turbo wheels and uh, what else? My Alfa had very cool, my Alfa 164 had incredibly cool wheels on it. And uh, wheels can make a car. These are also great looking wheels. These are not standard. And this color is really amazing. Uh, these are great driving cars. This one is an aftermarket turbo, he told me. These are just, uh, you know, normally aspirated usually. They do have a turbo version. Uh, and also the uh, coupe version has rear seats actually, which is very cool. But uh, definitely a unique automobile. This is the one I was drooling over when I walked over. I wanted to wait to, sh wait to show you to it. I gasp. I gasped when I saw this. I think it looks really cool. Black market, it says. Um, you can't see inside at all. But it is a right-hand drive Japanese domestic market. Yes, that means JDM. You see that all over the place. This is a JDM car. And uh, it's very cool. It's a Gloria. So I would say it's a Nissan, um, I guess. Gran Turismo. Stay alert and be safe. Wow. Cool, cool, cool. What do you think? Let me know what you think of this one. <laughs> I like it. Very cool. American Jeep. I'm thinking MASH. TV show that was popular back in the day. Alan Alda. Beautiful uh, guitar theme for it. It's actually called Suicide is Painless. That is the title of that song, believe it or not. That. That one. Yes, I'm very musical. I play all the instruments, drums, bass, guitar, and sing. And you can see me playing songs like Hotel California or Squeeze, Another Nail for My Heart, Left Bank, uh, Pretty Ballerina, 
Louie Louie by the Kingsman. Uh, a lot of different songs, really. I just put up, uh, what's a recent song I did? Well, check out my Free Your Mind music video. That's an original song with some of my car collection in it. And a lot of my guitar collection, musical instrument collection. GT350, very nice. Hemi over here. Very cool. In this guy's way. This car was built with traveling in mind. How about that. Plymouth Belvedere, 1966. Definitely a muscle car. Definitely not as common as some of the others. Now this is what's called in the automotive world as a shooting brake. Shooting brake is a two-door wagon. One of my favorite shapes. Uh, Ferrari FF was the first one. This is the GTC4 Lusso, I believe. And uh, it's more modern. And uh, it's a great, great vehicle, actually. Uh, that you can uh, bring the whole family along with. See, baby seats. And uh, yeah. How cool is that? 660-ish tuned. I got Baby it. I got on it board. Uh, but Ferrari so, dad. There you go. I track it. Oh, look I mean, at that I, one. I put my kids. It's huge. You can put it your size well, so, in the back. So I had a Porsche Panamera. The shooting brake. Yes, sir. Watch it tonight on Drive and Ivan. We'll do it. <laughs> I like the panels. Yeah. <laughs> He's talking about how he drives this on the track. I love that. You know, if you drive it on the track, that's cool. Once had a Carmen Ghia. Yes, the full driving review is on YouTube. It was a convertible. This one is a, a show car. Look at this. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. W O W. Wow. Beautiful car. Carmen Ghia. Low light. Low lead. I guess it's Lolita. Is it Lolita? Is that what that's about? The tag. Low light? Okay. Oh, okay. There you go. It's a low light. Very nice. I thought it was Lolita. Silly me. You know that book by Nabokov? Don't stand so close to me. Ha. Ah. Yeah, that book was called Lolita, actually. And uh, Sting used the reference in his uh, song, Don't Stand So Close to Me. Oh. Oh, okay. I have a channel where I tell musical stories like I'm kind of talking about now. It's called Ink Video. And on my Ink Video YouTube channel, I just play songs on my guitar with really no effects. Although I've been adding a bit of reverb lately. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I love telling these song stories. So on TikTok, on my Ink Video channel, I also have the, uh, the Real Drive and Ivan. But yeah, the Ink Video channel is all about music and telling... Uh, Song stories and music stories. I just told the story of Alex Chilton. Song by The Replacements on there. And uh, kind of show you how to play it too. It's a weird tuning on that one. Open A tuning. If you know anything about that sort of thing. But uh, if you're my age, you probably know something about being in one of these. <laughs> we had one of these at some point in my very young youth. And it was blue. But uh, I do not believe it was the same model. And it certainly was not this fast. It's a 440 Commando. What a beast. It's the Custom Suburban. Yes, sir, it is. The Custom Suburban. Plymouth. And uh, yeah, you had the rear-facing seats like they had in Mercedes, too. This one ticks all the boxes if you like these old uh, station wagons. And the Dodge Dart GT Sport. We had a Dodge Dart GT, and uh, I'll tell you, it wasn't this quick. Had a slant six. It was the GT. It wasn't a manual. It had the front bucket seats, but um, yeah, four barrel. This is a Cobra Daytona replica. And... Uh, Tribute to Shelby Daytona Coupe Chassis CSX. Now, the original one, I have an interview with Pete Brock elsewhere on YouTube, and I interviewed him in front of the car, and he told me the story, and it was just so cool. The hammered aluminum and everything on that car, you could tell it was the actual one with the race history, and uh, it was absolutely amazing. 
Uh, what a great interview. I met Carol Shelby that day. It was epic day. Kind of like today is. Uh, this is Factory 5, by the way. I have a Factory 5 review of the Cobra, but not this one. Um, it looks great. You know, they... <laughs> The whole story is, you know, Carol Shelby and the team, they, they didn't really like the look of it. And uh, it was until it was proven faster that then they were suddenly into it. So um, that's when they got into it. But uh, it had to be proven fast for them to be into it. I'm going to double back here because I forgot to show you a couple of these cars. You definitely want to see this one, don't you? Well, if you watched Magnum PI, you want to see it. But, uh, yeah, most every scene in that uh, TV show was shot, in fact, with uh, Thomas Magnum, as he was known, with the uh, top off, because he was too tall for the car, really. But it was his actual car. It was his car, Tom Selleck, by the way. Uh, this one is cool, Ranchero. One of my more popular videos recently, I have, uh, I just recorded a Dodge Charger Ute. I uh, did a full driving review on that one, and uh, it's it's amazing. Wow. This rear three-quarter angle on this car is amazing. With this beautiful pin and farina styling, the H-gate. Want to know what it's like to drive it? They search Drive and Ivan Ferrari 308. Full driving review. I really want to review one of these, too. Love the Ranchero. This one, thankfully, I have reviewed the 550 Marinello front-engine V12 Ferrari. And uh, this might be a 575. Let me double-check. Um, it is a 575. So this is the later one. Not available with a manual, actually. 575M. Um, let's see. But, yeah, very cool. has the Daytona seats the fitted luggage all the stuff you want to see all right now we can continue on down again i'm trying to show you every single car here and it's hard because there's a lot of cars we'll get to them all don't worry i will not fail in my mission to show you every single car here it will be fulfilled <laughs> Ford. Nice color. AMG engine too. Wow, what a beast. Wow, let's see if they did anything to the interior. Thankfully, uh, not really. <laughs> they put a stick in it and they changed the driver's seat for a little more support. Uh, but that's about it. Look at this thing. Wow, beautiful AMG Mercedes here. Look at this interior. So beautiful. This is... Uh, Certainly Radwood, a little later in the Radwood uh, age bracket, but um, very cool. 5.4 AMG, about as good as it gets. Jaguar. Wow, what a cool car, the white, white alloy is really setting it off here. This is right-hand drive too, wow, this is an import. And you could tell because it's a manual. They really didn't sell any manual transmission uh, XJS is really, they just didn't sell them. But they were cool. You could get them convertible, of course. Wow, look at this. I'm a big fan of Alpina. Uh, watched the uh, Alpina Z8 go at auction yesterday. And again, I just posted the review of the Z8. And that one has Alpina wheels on it. I have a B7 Alpina. And a B10 review that I've shot but haven't edited yet. And it's a touring, it's a wagon. But I love Alpina. I also have a 2002 Alpina review, which is on YouTube now. But wow, it is automatic. But uh, if it's Alpina, it has been modified and tweaked a bit. And uh, it's as good as it gets for a 5 Series, I think. Let me see. Try to see the exact model on this one. What's the exact model? It's a 533i. So is it Alpina or not an Alpina? <laughs> Sounds like it might not if be. If you can't tell, we're not telling you. It's not an Alpina. Okay, there's my answer. But uh, still, I like the Alpina look. I like the tribute. I like yeah. the car. I was just talking about Alpinas. Drive and Ivan is my name. And you'll see this tonight on YouTube. 
Oh, okay. Actually, you'll Excellent. probably see it this afternoon as well, soon as I finish shooting. a couple genuine, probably, albinos and I have a B7. Do you so, really? Uh, and I just reviewed uh, a B10, but I haven't posted well, this, the video yet. This is intended to be a B9. Okay, B9. There so we go. So, if, if that All answers right. your question. It's intended. It is a tribute to a B9. Yes. And it is lovely. Thank Very you. nice. Thanks for bringing it. <laughs> SL55. I won't tell if you won't tell. I like the tributes, you know, they, they like the car and, you know, they are a lot more expensive. And they had a 5 Series and they said, hey, let's make it look like that. McLaren, street legal, see? Of course it is. Another McLaren. Uh-oh, now we're getting to another car that I have. This, I do a whole buyer's guide on these. This is the M138 Maserati Spider, and uh, also they had the Coupe. The Spider's about 10 inches shorter. And uh, of course, just a two-seater. But uh, this one is a, this is a Grand Sport Spider. All one word, not Grand Sport. This is a Grand Sport Spider. You can tell by the transmission here. It's uh, later, they got rid of the cup holders and uh, they extended out the uh, transmission to make it a little bit more intuitive and easy, easy to use. If you wanna know how to drive the Cambio Corsa transmission, I have a whole video on it. But this is the 4.2 liter Ferrari V8. Yes, this was built in the Ferrari factory. Uh, Fiat Group Maserati was handling, uh, Ferrari was basically handling the relaunch of Maserati to give them more dependability, reliability in America in about 2002 when these came to, the, uh, to America. And uh, so this is it. This is the, about the latest one you can get, 2006, 2007. They started in 2005, but this is the 2000, probably six or seven. That's when they stopped making them. So this is the last one. You could get a manual transmission, but anyway, see more on my uh, driving Ivan buyer's guide to the Maserati M138. And also a lesson on how to drive the Cambio Corsa. Same as the Ferrari F1 transmission. The Challenger convertible. <laughs> I love how we're just skipping around. You go from a Maserati to some good old American muscle, Mustang and a Challenger RT with the shaker. I mean, that is, that's just so cool. And it's convertible, too. This reminds me of the Black Ghost car that um, had a gator, gator vinyl on top, basically. But uh, it was shown on the nation's capital. Another car in the historic vehicle registry, like the Cobra Daytona. Um, cool, cool muscle car. Definitely, for sure. And this one right here, Jaguar XKSS. What is SS? Swallow Sidecar. Jaguar started out as the Swallow Sidecar Company, and uh, then they developed into uh, building cars. And this is one of the earlier ones. So there you go. Back to that Lancia 037. God, is that a cool car. Very cool. All right. Here we go. Another Cobra. Hmm. Trying to see who built it. A lot of people make these. But um don't think it's a real one. There are real ones. Ooh, a Saab Sonnet. We'll get to that later. Pickup truck here. I like the Saab Sonnet. <laughs> Saw this one yesterday too, the uh, SLC. 2007 SLC K200. Right next to a Lotus Salon. You want to know where the Mazda Miata came from? Voila, this is it. Lotus basically just stole this car and said, look, it's an all new Mazda Miata. Yeah, they did. Yep. There's the clown shoe. Uh, here's an Austin Healy Sprite, bug eye, frog eye, whatever you want to call it. I have a 66 Austin Healy Sprite and I compare it to my 67 MG Midget. I call it my Spridget video, so look for that one too. I also have driving a sports car in the rain, which I did in my Austin Healy Sprite. It seemed appropriate. A uh, very British thing to do, right? But, uh, yeah, these are great sports cars. You know, <laughs> these days there's all this hype about horsepower, and this has a 1,000 horsepower, and this has 1,200 horsepower. Well, this right here probably has about 45 to 65 or 67 horsepower. And I'll tell you, it's probably more fun to drive than your 1,000 horsepower car, to be truth truthful. Because you can get this car loose at about 30 miles an hour or less. <laughs> They're very alive cars to drive. I love my Spridgets. 
my MG Midget and my Austin Healy Sprite. If you haven't driven one, you really should. It's one of the automotive wonders of the world. As is a Lotus. I unfortunately don't have one of these, but I have a review coming probably in the spring. I'll review this one. But I have a Europa and an Esprit. But Lotus, simplify and add lightness. That's what Lotus stands for, Colin Chapman. No, it does not mean lots of trouble, usually serious. That's not what it means. It's not what it means. It doesn't mean that. <laughs> what a beauty. Yours? Thank, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank very you. cool. I'm in the Lotus Club, too. Oh, is that right? Cool. Yeah, I have an 88 Esprit and a 70 uh, Europa. Oh, nice. Yeah. Drive it, Ivan. I'm shooting every car here. I hope you'll watch. Oh, I definitely will. All right. It'll be on later tonight. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Tom Bunjay. Hey, Tom. Drive an Ivan. Look, it's a clown shoe. Yeah. <laughs> what a great car. Blue seats. I've always wanted one with blue seats, but I missed the boat. I didn't buy one when they're cheap. So, uh, yeah, I'm sad. I did have a Z3, and yes, I have a driving review of that one. Lexus GX460. Caprice. Chevy Caprice. Station wagon. I think it's a Caprice. That's what my uh, brain tells me. Usually it's right. No labels on this one, though. Look at this Continental. Beautiful with the white wall tires. Uh, AMG wagon here. Uh, Mercedes here. Wow, look at this. Good stuff. Lots of cars we're going to be getting to later, but look at this thing. Woo! What a beautiful 911. Beautiful color. And, uh, hmm. Exactly is going on here. I'm trying to sneak. It says Carrera 2, so it's a 964 911 from the uh, early 90s to about 95. Uh, I had a Carrera 4 Cabriolet, but this is the body style that they base the Singer on. So, uh, it's uh, one of the more sought after air cooled Porsches. I have a 911 SC Targa. And I'm kind of biased towards those and the Carreras. But these are great, more advanced, more easy to live with in the interior, as are the 993s. Those are the, the ultimate. Fortunately, I got to review a uh, Resto Mod hot, uh, Outlaw 911-993. It was amazing. Did that recently, so check that out, too. Here is the Karma. Just unveiling this uh, new one here. More advanced. And... Uh, yeah, there you go. Looking good. The karma. The karma, everyone. All right, I'm back to the, uh, the last row here. Mm -hmm. I think uh, now we're on the second to last row. So I can now walk into this, excuse me, this TVR here and give you a nice look at it. Wow, look at that. Mm, lovely vehicle. Finally got to drive a TVR. I was going to look at it. But unfortunately, it wasn't a real good car. The, the brakes were kind of off and everything. But these are very quick and uh, very British. <laughs> and yeah, you could find them in the, in the 80s and the 70s in the U.S. People were bringing them in. But uh, yours? Okay. This is the third one I bought. The clown shoe. Yeah. Beautiful. Have a great day. Oh, it's not an M3. It's just a regular, beautiful blue on blue. That interior is. Oh. That's a sweet interior. What's the What's that color called in the interior? Topaz. Topaz, and the exterior. Topaz. There you go. Topaz on topaz. I've seen them with the two tone also. I think that had to be the M though. But man, that is. If I could order one. Thank you. Thank you. I could open the door. There you go. That is so cool. Great car, sir. Watch it tonight on Drive and Ivan. Show every single car. Very cool. All sorts of good stuff. All right, let me squeeze by you again here. Sorry. Oh, so so crowded today. All right, uh, there's that Lotus Elan again. Uh, Mazda Miata. I mean, Lotus Elan. I'm sorry. Uh, there you go. See the similarity? Anyway, this SLC is pretty cool. Uh, Little sporty little. It reminds me of my Fiat uh, 126 that I just imported from Italy. Uh, just a very tiny car. Although that, that seats four people. This is only two. If you want to read all about it, just uh, 
Press pause right now. There you go. Okay. Sob Sonic. Always love these. Uh, my next door neighbor had one along with the C3 Corvette. And uh, his was blue. And that's the color I always wanted. You don't always see them in this shape. This is a really, really nice one. Uh, really, really cool. I mean, they're just so, so cool. Look at that glass. Uh, Hatch cover there. Just, just such a, such a sonic. V8. Uh, what else do we got here? 99 tribute to Miata Tweety car. Okay. Why not? Absolutely. Read all about it. Sure. <laughs> V8. Cadillac. Wow. Look at that. Cadillac. Look at that. Rolling down the avenue. I'm gonna get me a Cadillac too. If it's the last thing I do, I gotta get a Cadillac. Look at that Cadillac, look at that. That's a song by the uh, Stray Cats, if you're wondering. Nice interior too. Good job, good job. I like this car, sir. Thank you. Very nice. There you go. Nice Miata. You don't realize, when this Miata came out, when the Miata came out in 19... 89, it was such a paradigm shift because you could have an old British car in Japanese form and it was so reliable, everybody wanted one. And they were just, it just revolutionized the car world. Everybody wanted a convertible at that point. It was really amazing when those came out. Really amazing time. Stop of the border, how cool is that? Mid 60s Mustang convertible. And uh, I saw this one yesterday. Uh, also at the kickoff event, but uh, here it is with the top down. It's a little rainy yesterday, so it's nice to see it with the top down. And, uh, it is a Panard, and uh, it's a cool French car with a two-cylinder engine, I believe. So uh, it's very, very rare and uh, kind of exquisite mechanically in terms of the other stuff you'll see at the show. Uh, Two two cylinder, right? Yeah, two cylinder. Wow. How many horsepower? It uh, they claim fifty horse. Okay, all right. But no, like hydro pneumatic suspension or anything like that, right? Uh, you know, I don't know how the suspension works. Yeah, probably not. Then is it yours? Oh, okay. There you go. What year is it? Sixty one. Sixty one Panner. There you go. Very cool, sir. Thanks. Watch it tonight on Drive and Ivan. <laughs> Here we go with an MG, uh, this is a TF. So the TDs and the TFs, these were the cars that American soldiers might have seen uh, after the war, and they wanted to bring them home. The TD, you know, and so these MGs started getting popular in America. That's what happened, that's why you see them in the Pacific. Very cool. We'll go over to Radwood later also, and you'll see Radwood cars. I'll show them all to you. Um, let's see. Got to make sure I show you everything. So easily sidetracked, you know. There's such cool cars here. Brumos smart car. Speedy Gonzalez. Wow, let's see how speedy it is. Is it speedy? I don't know. We race what we sell. Brumos smart cars. Made in Jacksonville, Florida. So, uh, wow. You know, I have driven these, and, and that is the quirkiest transmission in the world. If they made it fast, more power to them. T-Stat. Great Maserati Spider again. I'm biased because I have one, but they're just great cars. This two-tone uh, Lincoln Continental is the bee's knees in terms of American cars. <laughs> Look at that. Look how comfortable it is. Look at that. Oh, it's a Bill Blass edition? Are you kidding? Designer special and just look at that two-tone. Oh my God, so incredibly cool. There's a lot of great stuff out here, isn't there? Ferrari uh, 612 Scuderia, I guess. Uh, Alright, let's get on down the line here, see what else we have to see. Ferrari uh, 355 maybe. T-Bird. Hide it up, T-Bird. Look at that. H-Gate, that's what you want to see in your F355, right? Man. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I believe this is the second Ferrari I ever drove. 
and it did have the H gate. I was so impressed. It was so great. I do not have that review on YouTube though, but uh, oh well. Yeah, let's have a little art here. Ooh. Smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Well, we all had a friend uh, who had one of these, if you're my age. <laughs> Used to go to lunch in one of these sometimes during uh, school. Great memories. You know, that's, that's the thing about the Volkswagens, people's car. You knew somebody who had one and uh, it was great. <laughs> Let's just say it was absolutely great. Okay, this is finally to the last row here, I think. But I started in the middle, so I'll just uh, I'm gonna head out over back here and I'll show you in a second. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna speed us on through here because there's a lot to see. There is so much to see. Speeding us on through as quick as I can. It's not hard. I mean, it's not easy to uh, move through all these cars quickly because there's just so many people. 2002 classic. Excuse me, I'm gonna slip through here. Very cool. Yeah, I've already shown you this stuff. Uh, let's get on over here. Ooh, fall classic. <laughs> People enjoying the festivities, the cars, and uh, all sorts of vendors here. This is where the awards will be uh, tomorrow after the Concours at the end of the day. Showing you the backs of the cars, why not? Shelby GT350. Nissan Z car, Nismo. I have an interesting story about that, actually. I was supposed to review the Nismo Z, and uh, what happened was they called me up. It was like the day before they were supposed to deliver it, or a couple days. They said that a motoring journalist from a publication that I will not mention had wrecked it on the track, so I never got to review it. I was very upset. But I do have a 370Z review, so uh, it's out there. There we go, Trans Am, and uh, Ford Performance here. That's a beautiful MR2 there. Nice little race car too. Cobra. Cobra. Sick of cars. Yeah. Rapid transit tour. Man, it is crowded today. Shooting break. Good stuff. Okay. I've shown you everything down here now, too. Um, so, it's time to go to see this beautiful Ford Skyliner here. Look at this. <laughs> Original 239CI. Six volt electric. Please do not touch our 54 Ford Skyliner. Please don't touch it. Look at that beautiful paint job. Wow. Oh, yeah? Did it have the wood grain on the side? I'll just walk back down this way to make sure I've shown you everything. Don't want to miss a single car. Uh, GTO. Gran Turismo Almagato is what that stands for. That means homologation in Italian. And that means you have to build a certain number of cars so that you can race it. In other words, they say, if you're gonna race this car, you had to have sold 500 of them to the public. So they would have to build 500 cars and sell them to the public. That's where the word GTO came from. Gran Turismo Almagato. The most famous one being the Ferrari GTO. And uh, those have been selling for about $70 million recently. Ah, uh, matchy matchy. Matching pants to the Maserati MC20. Look at that. Very cool. I'm a Maserati guy too. I got a spider amongst my collection. This is awesome. Not a stock color, I'm imagining. No, it's a special order color. Nice. So, but they did it. So it is a real color. Yeah. That's amazing. Nice selection, sir. I love it. It's yellow. And uh, wow. So cool. It's got to be one of one, right? It is a one of one, yes. So cool. Good for you. It's, it's a car for the individual and an individual version of that car, sir. Yep. Watch it tonight on Drive and Ivan, okay. along with my Maserati buyer's guide for the Spider. Really cool. Sounds great, too. 
The Natuno six cylinder twin turbo engine fired up there. That used to be my ringtone, actually. <laughs> Very cool. Thanks for starting it up. Beautiful. And we have a 612 Scalietti as well. Oh, maybe he's pulling out. Maybe he's got somewhere to be. I don't know. Very cool. Karma Rivero. A lot of people checking it out today. All the manufacturers out here selling their cars. Nice to see you. Driving Ivan here showing you all the cars and all the dogs too. What a cute dog. Come on. It's your time to shine. It's your time to shine. What a cutie. There you go. All the cars, all the dogs. <laughs> 911 Carrera and uh, roof, 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 roof. A Lois roof here with a tent and everything else. So cool to see that, amazing. Wow, wow, wow. Nice to see Roof out here in full force. The Yellow Bird, their, their famous car that's at the uh, top speed for a production car, 217 miles an hour back in the day. And uh, it's really, really cool to see them. Porsches are always in one area here, and uh, I'm looking forward to walking you through and showing you all of them. But the roofs, oh yeah. Look at the interior on this thing. Just amazing. Wow. There's Singer nowadays but roof has uh, always been the, the uh, pinnacle of the Porsche they now have uh, their own manufacturer's license in Germany so the, when you buy one of these it's a roof it's not a Porsche it's an actual roof so uh, it's really really a cool partnership and uh, nice to see that's lasted throughout the years and throughout the generations too yes we should lift and safari all the cars if you ask me I love it. Got the BMX bike on the top. <laughs> that is very, very cool. Wow, houndstooth interior. What a fan I am. Oh my God, this is so cool. Safari GTR, Skyline GTR. Do watch my driving review of the original GTR. That was an incredible car to drive. I would love to review this one too. Love the BMX bike too. I do actually have a video where I show you how to fly in and fly out of the skate park. Yes, I do. Search Ivan Katz drop in or fly out and you'll find that one. Okay, happy, happy, joy, joy. I get to show you all the Porsches now. Here we go. Starting with all of these beauties right here. On down the line we go. This looks like light blue metallic, like mine. Uh, not sure, but uh, probably doesn't have the stock steering wheel doesn't have the stock shifter uh, nor the stock engine but it is awesome Wow and it is a uh, 911 s 914 yeah but it's got a partial engine it's got a 1.7 914 it's really a strange looking car you should definitely google it and check it out it's uh I call it the superbird my 914 superbird But this one is very clean, very cool, and it is a uh, works reunion car. Like blue metallic, yes. just like my Targa. You can see that one, and I bought the cheapest 911 from driving Ivan. And I tell you what I paid for it too. It was not expensive, but it was a long time ago. Wow. This is quite the surf wagon. Well, it's not a wagon at all. But it does have some cool tartan interior and uh, a cool little surfboard on top, too. That is awesome. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Bye. Porsche. 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 <laughs> Porsche and Porsche. <laughs> Okay, into the second row of Porsches. 
996 here, also in my collection. I have a Carrera 4 Cabriolet, so I love to see these and see what people did to them. Recaro racing seats, kind of stripped uh, eight ball shifter there, looking good. This, one, this one's cool. Carrera 2, and uh, wow, lowered cool wheels on it with the billets. I, I, I've got similar wheels on mine actually too. Um, very, very cool. These wheels right here are extraordinarily cool. I, um, not exactly sure what's going on with it, but uh, here you go. Retro. Looking good, huh? How cool is that? How would you like to have that one? Usually the uh, Targa would fold into thirds and you could put it uh, either back here or in the front, but this one is just a glass uh, Targa cool. roof and it's quite cool. Uh, very, very cool indeed. Wow. Very cool. All right, continuing on down the row. Another Carrera. Oh, look, it's a Speedster. 80s Speedster. 1989 Speedster was an instant classic. Read all about it here. All right, very cool. Not a Speedster, a Speedster. There you go. There's your comparison video. <laughs> 356 is very cool. Was fortunate enough to drive one of those too. Have a driving video of that. Also an instant classic. Here's another beauty. Oh wow, look at the color on this one. Beautiful. All right, I'll go row by row here. So we're gonna get into some AMG Mercedes and such. Look at this SLC, the hardtop version. Four seat of the uh, usual SL. Wow, this one is a beast. I'm gonna give you a walk around because it's, uh, it's something, isn't it? White gauges. I have a, a very custom 635 CSI. It's very 80s also. Wish I had it down here for the Radwood, but uh, check that one out if you want to see a very cool 80s inspired, uh, entirely custom vehicle. Uh, it's super, super, super cool. Absolutely. Uh, there we go. All right. This one's awesome. Wow, wow, wow. It's me. SLS AMG with the gull wings, the modern interpretation of the gull wing. Wow, these are incredible. Let's see if this one that doesn't really say anything on the back of it. But uh, AMG. Wow, look at this one. This looks like a Strosec or a Gambella. Let's see. It is an AMG special edition. Ah, uh, there you go. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh my God. As I was saying yesterday, uh, one of my videos, the Testarossa really inspired a lot of clones. And you know, when it came out in 1984, and this is a uh, Ferrari Testarossa inspired, believe it or not. People hated it at first, but then all of a sudden they wanted it. So they put it on all sorts of cars, Porsches and uh, Mercedes. And uh, there you go, the EMGs are out in full force and looking good. There's that cute Dalmatian again. <laughs> Maybe there's a hundred others somewhere around here too, I don't know. <laughs> Probably not though. Uh, wow, the two-toed on this is incredible, isn't it? Ooh. Watch it later on Drive and Ivan if you like. Showing you every car here, Drive and Ivan, yep. <laughs> What's the dog's name? Domino. Dom, of course. <laughs> Hi, Domino. Goodbye, Domino. <laughs> Domino's uh, digging it. Gets to walk around on the golf course all day. That's pretty cool if you're a dog, right? <laughs> Brabus. It's Brabus. Oh, yeah, it is. You can see the G-Class Mercedes. They have Brabus editions of those. Tax on about 150000 to the price uh, if you want a Brabus. Um... I was in Monte Carlo, Monte Carlo when I saw my first Brabus G-Class this summer. Traveling all around Europe, showing you great videos of the Mercedes-Benz factory. 
the Porsche factory. Oh, here's another Brabus. 7.3. Wow. What a beast. We'll get back to those. I'm going row by row, so be patient. We're going to get there soon, I promise. It's, uh, it's a labor of love to show you all of these cars, and uh, I'm doing it one by one. <laughs> and it's a slow process, too, because when I see something like this, again, I have an 82 Targa, so this one is uh, similar, but wow, these seats. I have white leather with blue piping in mine because I have white gauges, but this one is, oh, man. It's like a golf livery, sort of. Uh, I guess that's what they're going after. Sander Verks. Sander Verks. Yes. Very nice. Is that you? Uh, I'm part of the company, yes. Okay, cool. Very nice. So I have an 82 Targa. This one looks similar. This is an 85. 85, so it's a Carrera. It's got yes. the 3.2 liter engine. And uh, what, did, you, did you do anything to the engine? I'm sorry? Did you do anything to the engine? No, this is a, still a, a stock motor build. Nice. Looks great. It's like golf inspired. I yes. would say, yeah, yeah, really cool. Very, very nice. So see it later on Drive and Ivan, right. showing every single car here awesome. all weekend. Love it, sir. Sander Works, check it out. Sander Works. All right, very special car there. This is a special one too. Look at the interior on this one. You don't see interiors like this every day, do you? Nope. Here we go. There we go. Right. Just fabulous interiors on some of these cars. Not to mention the exterior. Look at this from the works reunion. Everybody wants to go to the works reunion if you're a Porsche person. I show you the works reunion in uh, Pebble Beach from a few years ago. So check that video out too. That was a nice event. But Amelia here on the East Coast, I mean, this is a, the creme de la creme of events. This is the Cars and Coffee. Tomorrow will be the Concord. And I'm going to walk around and do the same thing. The only difference is tomorrow, the cars are pre-selected and curated by the uh, Amelia Island and Haggerty uh, committee there. 250 Ferraris are going to be featured, as well as the Bugattis. And they'll have racing cars, too, as well. And it's going to be amazing. So tune in tomorrow afternoon you're watching this today and uh, you will see it just search drive and Ivan Amelia 2024 the Amelia and you'll see it Ford GT okay showed you a nice street version of this at the, uh, the original at the uh, broad arrow auction last night that'll be going on later today they're gonna have some really cool cars later today Wow a lot of Morgans here. Here's the Aero 8, 50th anniversary. Morgan plus eight. And uh, wow, so cool to see these out here. Morgan is a British manufacturer. Wood, wood chassis, some of these have wood chassis and they build them the same way they've always built them, basically. Uh, year after year after year, the same, same thing. And this is the three-wheeler. They still make a three-wheeler today, actually. So. Very, very cool. Read all about it. There you go. And this one might have a little more information for you, too. Read all about it here if you don't know about Mortigan. Uh, there you go. Okay, onward and upwards. Uh, wow. Never-ending, but I'm going to show you everything. <laughs> This is one of my favorite BMWs, the BMW 3.0 CS. Uh, what a lovely vehicle. Just a beautiful, beautiful car. And uh, features the Hoffmeister Kink here. All the nice BMWs, Hoffmeister Kink. This design angle right there. Uh, I review a lot of BMWs, the modern ones. I have two right now. I have an Alpina B7 and my 635 CSI Custom. So. Big fan of BMWs. However, if you like old BMWs, <laughs> especially from the 2000s and the, and the uh, that region, 2010s, just uh, make sure you uh, have a little money aside to make sure to keep it in good good shape because <laughs> they can be tough. But you know, Audis too. But um, they're wonderful cars to drive and own too, for the most part. 
M5 here. Very desirable. BMW M5. So super cool. Right, this one's got perhaps the original window sticker, the Monroney, right on it. And uh, there you go, that's how you can tell that it's a real M5. M3, another classic. And then the M5. So there you go, these are from the same era. Beautiful stuff. Uh, nice to see him, okay. Heading on down the line. Got to do it. Oh, look. I'm going to cut over here because I want to show you the uh, Volkswagen ID Buzz. I have a separate video on it, but I may as well include it here. Just a little quick video. But this is the Volkswagen ID Buzz electric with the uh, 75 years of Volkswagen display. And the vet. Walk you around this one. You want to see it, don't you? Of course you do. Come on. It's the ID Buzz. Yeah, you gotta love it, right? Rich Carlton here at the Amelia Island and a Cunningham. There are a lot of these at the Revs Institute and I have a separate video on one of these that was owned by the same family for many, many years. Actually comes to my local Cars and Coffee. Katie's Cars and Coffee. You can watch a video of that one. But, uh, very cool. Very cool to see a Cunningham. These were, uh, I think he took uh, Cadillac engines in the 50s and made them into race cars, basically. Had much, much success as well. Okay. Chrysler engine, actually. Well, but, uh, yes, the point is American engine. The original race car. And uh, the Allards actually took the Cadillac engine and made racing cars out of I'm getting my automotive facts uh, mixed up here, but there you go. Chrysler power in this Cunningham. And uh, Allards had the Cadillac racing engines. I have a driving review of this BMW Z4, which is a uh, really nice modern convertible cruiser. One of the ultimate driving machines besides the Z8 that I just reviewed. I think I said that that was the ultimate driving machine inevitably. And I think maybe it is. BMW Z8, what an amazing car. Along with the Aston Martin Lagonda that I recently reviewed, do check those out because they were uh, absolutely incredible. How you doing? Uh, very clean. Very clean, this 911 SC. Same as mine. Except this is a sunroof. Maserati MC20, another one. Corvette, Cobra. R. Right. Legendary R Sports Rally to the Amelia. Genesis. Yep. Wow, isn't that just a stunner? I love that thing. <laughs> so pretty. 7.3 Brabus. I mean, this thing's outrageous. Just outrageously cool. Look at all these Mercedes we're going to be getting to. V12 here. Smog OK. Fulda. Sort of a rest, resto mod Mercedes 300 SL Gullwing. What an absolute beast here. Total beast. And, uh, wow. <laughs> that is awesome. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I think it's cool as it could be. AMG, excuse me. Look at the interior. Shines through a different color on the, uh, wow. Interior there looks blue through the. Uh, excuse me, y'all. Yeah, I ain't never. Yeah, nobody got to see that one. Through. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. And they got a lot of cool uh, AMGs out here today, don't they? Nine twenty-eight. Wow, look at this Safari Dow uh, nine eleven here. That's pretty darn cool. 
These tires are just eating up the grass, aren't they? Look at that. So cool. All right, here we go. Looking at this Safari 911 here. Seeing the finish Can you grade. Imagine going off of yeah. this thing. Be <laughs> awesome. 911 Dakar. Yes, Safari is in. What do you think of that Skyline GTR earlier? The Safari version. Now I've had two of these. This one's similar to my 84, and I currently have a 78 928 five-speed. Watch either of those reviews. Wow, that speed story again is very cool. GT3 and a really cool green color. GT3. Wow. This is a beautiful color for a 356. Wow, I love that. My 928 was originally brown, and they changed it to black for some reason. This, ha this has the posh interior and everything. Beautiful. I'll show you that when I walk back the other way. Carrera RS, super rare, super collectible. Um, this one, very, very cool. Wow. 53. That's the same year as my buddies. Uh, that was brought over and won the uh, SCCA. That's an interesting 356. Check out that full story. Just Google Drive and Ivan 1953. 356. Another beautifully finished uh, custom 911 here. Look at that shifter. Wow. Rear seats deleted there. 2.7. Absolutely gorgeous. And this beautiful blacked out uh, 944 S2 convertible. Um, yeah. 944 S2 convertible. Very, very neat. All black. My Boxster actually has similar wheels. Painted black. Uh, very cool. Great cars today, huh? If you like it, smash that like button and subscribe. And uh, just search Porsche and Drive and Ivan, you'll see. I actually have a video of my Porsche collection. The search Drive and Ivan Porsche collection. I have five of them. The most unique is probably my 914, which I call the uh, Superbird. Super my Superbird 914. <laughs> GT4 here. Caymans. GTS here, and uh, yeah, here we are to this uh, beautiful brown Porsche 928. Oh my God, with the Porsche interior. Woo. Wow, wow, wow. Amazing. <laughs> so yeah, I could tell mine was brown because underneath the hood it was actually still brown, but uh, unfortunately they painted mine black before I got it. And mine is also a 78, so there you go. This one is super, super cool, though. And I'll show you one more time, just because I want to see it again. I'd love to do this. Mine has fake Pasha on the dashboard. It's kind of funny, actually. It was definitely uh, customized, shall we say, by, uh, by an interesting person who uh, customized it. And uh, it was uh, interesting, to say the least. But I love it. I, you know, I, I'm not really into show cars. I like to drive my cars and cleaning cars and and uh, showing them is less exciting to me than actually driving them. <laughs> I do drive mine. Fortunate to live near some great country roads, and uh, I enjoy taking my cars out and exercising them. Let's just say, I enjoy driving all around Europe. Got to do that in a beautiful Alfa Romeo 146. I'll do a review of that one soon. Also rented a very slow Lancia Ypsilon Hybrid as my rental car. As I toured around Europe and bought a couple cars. Again, I do videos on how to import a car from Europe. Search Drive and Ivan, how to import a car from Italy or Europe. You'll see my uh, Fiat 126 and my Fiat Barchetta, plus the surprise car that I bought and drove on the Nürburgring and about 4,000 kilometers, 2,400 miles throughout Europe. But again, these Testarossa sides on this one, so cool. Wow, Gullwing uh, AMG here. Super cool, look at this interior. Jeez. So much cool stuff to see here. It's uh, kind of staggering, staggeringly excited now. Huh? All the cars 
and all the dogs on yeah. Drive and Ivan. All the cars, all the dogs. <laughs> I do love dogs, <laughs> and I love uh, cats too, actually. It's my last name, right? Driving Ivan Cats. Shout out to Spiky Spikes, my cat. <laughs> Spiky. It's a great cat story, actually. I found him in, uh, in an abandoned row house, and uh, he was meowing really highly, going, meow, 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 meow. His hair was spiked out, and he was all wet. Black cat. Took him home, and the rest is history. Spiky Spikes. He's an adult cat now. King of the neighborhood. <laughs> he is the... Uncontested <laughs> king of the neighborhood. Absolutely. The new M5. What do you like better, the new M5 or the old M5 I showed you earlier? See, it's right there. Old M5, new M5. I think I'm going with the old one, even though this is a lot faster. Modern cars kind of drive you. You used to drive the, mod the older cars. Okay. And it's pretty cool. I actually, uh, there was nice. another place. magazines there for the car. Very cool. Haggerty. Wow. Just a heck of a lot of cool cars here today, huh? And... Another MC20, Ferrari F12. So cool, huh? Wow. A lot of people out here today. Oh, there's Domino again. Again. <laughs> Awesome, isn't it? Wow. V12. I'm a big fan I of like white that. interiors. Absolutely. White and red. And like I said, my 911 has white leather in it. Of course, uh, you know, if you wear jeans and that sort of thing, it might rub off a little bit, but I don't care. I'm all about the look. Like I said, I'm not really into cleaning cars. I'm just into driving them. And, uh, probably a silly decision to put white leather in but I don't care I love it <laughs> and I love convertibles too I love this uh, look of the Mercedes of this era especially this one here the uh, kind of the penta wheel look so cool and uh, just classic really really classic Wow, this one's incredible. Excuse me. That's the best here, I would say. Yeah, for me, I, I just love this look. All my cars are blue if I get to pick them. 911 SC, this is similar to mine too. Mm, 80, is this here? Which ones? This one, okay. Yeah, yeah. So 78 is the first year, that's 82. Same as mine, 82 Targa. You can find it on YouTube. Drive and Ivan, I bought the cheapest Porsche 911. Oh, really? oh, cool. I'm shooting every car here, so if you're bored and you want to see every car, watch it on Drive and Ivan later. Okay. Including your lovely car here. 1982, same year as mine. I don't have one of these though. What's going on there? Okay, maybe I need one of those. What is it? All right. Very nice. 10 extra horsepower. Going from 185 to 195. This is about, this is about, this is about cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Very cool. This one's very cool too. Mine has white leather with blue piping and white gauges. Yeah, don't ask me why, but you'll see it. It's a cool car. Thanks for uh, sharing.
Like All right. Carrera 4S. Wow, this is a stunner right here. Look at this. Woo. Woo, woo, woo. Looky here. Almost an outlaw. 1960. Read all about it there. But wow, what a stunning, stunning 356. Oh my God. Woo. Wow. No, just wow, 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 wow. Okay. Historical vehicle. It's about as good as it gets in a 356, if you ask me. Thank Certainly not well, stock, but... Uh, did you? Oh, 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 what, what award did it get? Which award did it get? Um, it's under the... It, it was actually in the modified section. Cool. Outlaw. And, uh, and then, uh, we won a 356 award the year before. Amazing. So the car is only a year old. We literally got it done 10 days before Amelia last year. Amazing. That was it. I mean, it literally was, it was nip and tuck. Really cool. We'll see you tonight on Drive and Ivan in my video. I'm Drive and Ivan showing you every car oh, here. Oh, awesome. All right. And that's cool. Yep. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice to see polite people still walking around. I'm trying to stay out of everybody's way if I see them shooting. Always give them first priority. But, uh, you know, it's crowded today. It's tough. So there you go. Wow, that is incredible. All right. More cool cars here. Watch my full driving review. Yes, watch my full driving review of the Rivian. Just search driving Ivan Rivian. And watch it do 0 to 60 in about 3 seconds in the rain. Very cool. Cool advertisements, too. This is what you see when you walk in. Lots of vendors and uh, <laughs> just so much cool car related uh, activities and vendors. Just uh, so, so, so cool. Look everyone, it's a Praga. Not sure what it is, but it's pretty cool. Automotive art, yeah. The Fiat Jolies, basically 500s for uh, the beach and uh, a picnic. <laughs> There's a Louis Vuitton version too that I have a video on that I'll show. Probably on my social media, but uh, very, very cool. Love the Fiat 500 and the Jolies. And again, I just imported a Martini Livery uh, Fiat 600 as well. Very cool. That's the uh, car that succeeded this one. Nice to see Lucid out here in full force. Lucid Automobiles, everybody's checking them out. Sorry about that. ECD, Expedition Motor Company. Looks like they're tweaking some G-Class Mercedes here. Very cool. Got some uh, racing cars over here. Very cool. Look at this one. Blue chip car. It's an investment group. Yeah, you can own a piece of each of these cars. Look at that one, that one's gorgeous. Wow, Delahaye, absolutely beautiful.